Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you each on another adventure with me on this beautiful day where it's nice and cool. We are heading to volunteer at the Memphis Botanic Garden and the Herb Garden again. So let's go get busy and see what we can do. Okay, so far, cutting back the mint, putting it in the shade. That's a big hand armful of mint. All right, back to work. And once again, the poor little box turtle, one of many that live here around the herb garden, has been found in the jungle. Poor little thing tries to hide, and we find it. It's our own version of Where's Waldo? Where's the box turtle? Okay, here is the poor sweet grass bed that has been trampled in. That. I'm going to have to fix up, but, oh, I wish y'all could smell it in the sun, heating it up, and it just smells amazing. So, I have to get it out from under the boxwoods and bring it back a foot from them. So there's a walking path behind the sweetgrass patch. And then I get to clean all the dead out, which can still be used for incense. Big, beautiful sweetgrass patch. And lucky me, I'll be bringing a bunch home. All right, time for me to get to work. While weeding and cleaning up the sweet grass bed, look what I found. We're having a nature moment. Do you know what kind of egg sac this might be? See each of those little holes? on both sides was an egg. Is that just not beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. This is nature at work. It's a, what we would call a brindle colored egg sac. This is a last year's praying mantis egg sac. And of course, those ridges at the top where the cocoon opened up, well, not so much a cocoon, but egg sac opened up. And each of those little holes is what a praying, baby praying mantis come out. And when they harvest, well, when they hatch, they are very carnivorous. And if they're not quick enough when they hatch, their siblings will eat one another. It's the circle of life, y'all. It goes on. I just wanted to share this nature moment with you. Is that not neat? All right. Mandatory break time's almost over. Back to work. Thank gracious shade is finally starting to encroach on the sweet grass bed. I've come from, let's see, way over there to right there. I don't have too much further to go. 
I have raked, or as I like to affectionately call it, combed hair of the mother, sweet grass. Many, many native tribes called it the hair of the mother, mother earth. And there's the big pile of dried sweet grass, which I'm going to take home because it can be powdered up. Of course, I got to clean the leaves of other trees and plants out of it and any trash, but that can be powdered up for incense. But she's been cleaned out pretty good once I get done, which I don't have too much more to go. We'll cut the irrigation on because oh, we're so dry here, so dry. But it looks like I might have an elderberry or two to dig up to take home. And another American Beauty Berry. Blessings come in many different ways. All right, I'm going to go take me a break because I am melting. See you after a while. Taking a small break. And I know a lot of people have never seen hops before. There's a hops bud. Here's some more. Of course, the summer's been rough for us. Been hot and ungodly dry. But this is what hops looks like. For those who have never seen hops. And hops is what many people use to make beer with. All right. See you back. Here's some better looking ones. But it grows on a vine. And they can get, the vines can get really big. So you have to trellis them. But that is what hops look like. Bird's eye view of what I'm doing. I'm trying to rescue each of the sweet grass plants in the pathway that needs to be made behind the plant. It can be tedious, but let me tell you, it's worth it getting to save these amazing sacred plants. And that's what I'm trying to make sure I get, is the roots. And I have a bucket of water over here so that I can put the roots right in. And every plant I can save is important. These are the best weeders. Japanese sickle. And there is four little sweetgrass plants. I don't have too far to go. So I'm going to get off here and get busy. Bumblebee moments. I love watching the pollinators. Um, poor phylum Witterale. Do y'all eat salsa? Yeah. Do you like? Whew, I am done so far with the sweet grass bed. I have the pathway cleaned out behind it. 
all the way from back there all the way to back there and let me tell you sorry about my shadow let me tell you it smells absolutely amazing and I've cleaned most of the dead leaves of the sweet grass out and she looks rough now because we got to cut the sprinklers on now that I am done but whoo lord I'm done and more ways than one I am done all done by hand to save all the sweet grass plants that were back there Here are all the sweet grass plants that I saved. All right, time to get packed up and ready to head home. And the mint bed has been cleaned quite a bit. This is afterwards. And here is the mint, the Anise hyssop and artemisia that is going home with me. I got it tied up in a sheet. Loading the car up after a long, long day of volunteering. Look what I was blessed with by one of the volunteers. She brought this and asked if I could use it. Oh my gracious, yes. This is a true blessing. This is a ball uh, jelly jam preserve maker. Look at that. I'm telling you, blesses, blessings come in many different forms. And I cannot say how absolute happy I am for this. Thank you. Thank you. I am so bad with names. I apologize. But thank you. I cannot thank you enough for this. Came down to check the chickens. And look there. Just a swinging. She loves that swing. Look at the beautiful babies. Look at them. Hello girls. Strike a pose. Come on. Oh, look at the colors of that one. Look at them. Oh, such beautiful chickens. Look at her and her gorgeous self. Say hi, guys. Or say hi, gals. And there's another one jumped up on the swing. They kind of camera shy. As the sun sets, it has been a wonderful day of laughter, hard work, gathering, and harvesting. I am truly blessed to be able to volunteer at the Botanic Garden and being rewarded greatly and blessed in many ways. Everyone, I hope you enjoy this video. Y'all take care. And I'll see you soon. Hoot hoot. And may you each be blessed.